So the Necromancer is one of the most powerful characters in the game. With that corpse explosion skill, you can absolutely melt some of those powerful areas in the entire game just like that. Also, there are several of the Trang sets that are very good and used all the time. But you ever notice you never actually see the full Trang set used almost ever? How do you know if someone's using the full Trang set? You'll see one of these guys floating around and it's not one of the monsters you're fighting. It's actually one of the characters that you are playing with. Now that's what we're going to talk about right here today. Now first we'll take a look at what exactly do you get if you wear the full set. Now obviously 3 to Necromancer skills at the top, very useful. Down at the bottom, 50 all res and 60% regenerate mana, also very good. 100 to mana, another thing that is useful. But all this stuff in the middle here, not exactly going to be particularly useful to your character. All of these different fire skills, we'll take the level 18 fireball for example. When I threw it on the character, this only did like 400 damage, not particularly great. Now also 20 to life leech on a necromancer, you're not going to find a build that's really going to help you out with. Now, when you have only a partial set, you'll have different ones of these particular fire skills in the middle, but you'll drop off those three to necro skills and the 50 to all res unless you have the full set. So that is very, very important to note. So you need that full set in order to get the actual stuff on the sets that really help you out for the partial and full set bonuses. But you do get other set bonuses on individual items when you wear certain items together. And that is kind of the important part. I'll go ahead and jump into the game and actually take pieces on and off and show you the way that that changes. Boop, there we go. We're in game now. And look, I got this little ghoul guy floating around here. Looks kind of interesting. You know, he's floating, doesn't got no feet. Um, but why don't you ever see anyone really playing these very often? There is an occasional person. Put down in the comments if you love rocking the full Trang set with the ghoul and everything. But a lot of times people go with the partial set. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you why. But I'm just going to show you quickly the gear we're rocking along with the Trang set here. Oto for the three doll skills. We got a caster amulet, a nagel, just for the magic find, really. We've got a caster ring so that we can get up to the faster break point, faster caster rate break point we need. Um, so they were over it whether we're the ghoul or we're not the ghoul. Um, besides that, it's all Trang set. We got the head. We've got the other head over here that's the shield. We've got the triangle scale for the armor. The belt down here that has cannot be frozen. That's why we do not need a Ravenfrost on the rings. And we got the gloves. And I didn't mention the boots over here. There's some tri-res boots there. Pretty crazy. Level 18 required with tri-res. Pretty wacky. I actually pulled those off a nightmare and Daryl and a geese for the magic find didn't really put anything else down here didn't want to go too crazy with it the important thing to note I'll go ahead and swing it up right over here but the break points for this full set it's actually kind of weird a lot of people want to get the higher faster cast rate break point so you can boom 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 corpse explode faster that's where almost all of your damage come from but look at these faster cast rate break points they're actually different for the human and for the vampire now if you do get to 75 for the necromancer you only are at 10 frames, which is not bad. It's only one under the max, which is at 125. If you do the partial set, it's actually not super difficult. It's not super difficult to get to that 125, especially if you're throwing on like a Viper Magi instead of that armor. And if you're throwing on a spirit instead of the head, boom, there you go. You've got 125, probably pretty easy. But take a look at the vampire now just below that. At the 75, you don't quite get to the six. Uh, 86 so you're going to be down at the 65 breakpoint which is 16 frames it is 60 percent slower cast rate if you go from the human form to the ghoul farm which is pretty crazy it's essentially a nerf to use the full set which is uh, it's just devastating that a full set is kind of cool it would be cool if you transform into this ghoul and go around but you actually get a little bit of a nerf here taking a look at some of the other uh, breakpoints here we got increased block speed for the necromancer it does not change for the ghoul to the human so that you don't really have to worry about but down here also we have the faster hit recovery here you do see it is different and actually the hit recovery frames are also kind of a nerf it's not as bad as the faster cast rate but we'll take a look at maybe around where someone might get here we'll say at the uh, 86 or 56 level and at that point, you're only going to hit the 72. You're not going to get up to the 117, I'm sure. So you're actually losing a frame or two for faster hit recovery as well. It's another way that this full set is actually a nerf. So I don't have all the pieces that we would replace this stuff with, but we'll go ahead and pull pieces off by one by one. And we can take a look at how it changes things for this character. Now, remember, once you take off just one piece, like we'll use the Triangle's guys, the helmet, for example, 
you fall out of that ghoul form. So now you go back to the human breakpoints for the cast rate and for the hit recovery. So you're essentially getting a buff by not wearing the full set, which is mega unfortunate. This is one thing, even though I'm anti-change guy, I do wish that they would change that to where the ghoul form would not actually hurt your character. It would instead either keep it the same or help you. That's one thing that they could change, but let's take a look at the partial set here. You see, we have still have the lightning res here. Importantly, we still have the minus enemy poison res here. The gloves don't really have anything else added to it. This does have the cold res. You still get cold res, you get lightning res, and you do get poison res just from wearing this. Up here, you also get fire res and more poison res just inherently on the item. So you still get a bunch of resistances, but you do lose that 50 to all res. When you look over here, they dropped, they were capped out. They did drop quite a bit, but it's still looking pretty okay over here, really. Nothing crazy, nothing bad. Now, let's say you want to throw on something like a Viper Magi, but you still kind of want that, that Poison Res over here. That way you get a faster cast rate. Let's go ahead and pull off the armor. So you throw on a Shaco and a Viper Magi and take a look at the pieces. Gloves still the same. You see for the partial set here with three pieces, you got Fire Wall, Fire Ball, and only 30 Regenerate Mana. It went from 30 to 45 with another piece and then to 60 with the next piece. Now over here, you do get 40 to Cold Res, even with just the three pieces. So here you get some Cold Res and some Cold Res right here. You still got Cannot Be Frozen because you got the belt up here with three pieces you still have minus two enemy poison resistance. So if you are a poison necro, this is actually a very good option. You get the cannot be frozen, you get the minus poison res, and you still get the fire and poison res, all the stats, poison bone skills, and these gloves, no matter what, this is staying on your necromancer. There's almost no instance where you're not going to have this on your necromancer. I'm going to be perfectly honest, in my opinion. Now, is there other things that you could kind of do? If you pull off the helmet, you're going to lose some stats there. So you see the stuff went red, but you still get the cannot be frozen from the belt. It's just two pieces, so you're not getting any partial set bonuses. So a lot of times, this is what a lot of people will go with here. You go with the uh, the belt or the gloves, the belt, and the head over here for the shield. Now, there are other options, though, because if you threw on a Raven Frost right here, we'll say you didn't want the belt on because you want to have on your Arachnid's mesh. But... When you pull that off, you see the potions pop off, but you still have the three piece set to get the minus enemy poison res. Over here, you get lightning res, you got the poison res, you got fire res and more poison res, you get a little cold res here, and you still get the three piece set bonus. But that way you can have one to skills from your reactive mesh here for that cast rate. You get the stuff from the armor, and then you could have like a Shaco on up here. So that's another option for the three piece set. So to be perfectly honest, the three piece set is usually the most commonly used here for the necromancer in one of those two variations the head the helmet up here not used nearly as much also you could throw on the four piece that is also a good option because you still have the good break points for being in human form not in that ghoul form you will get the 50 lightning res for the four piece set bonus you get the replenish life and you still get that minus poison res if you're a poison necro obviously like i said the gloves are still going on and the belt's got you cannot be frozen on it so four piece and three piece sets for the Tranks is often used way more than the actual full set. Now there are a couple of positives with the full set, but when you're playing soft core, mainly the thing you want to do is deal out as much damage as possible. You aren't as concerned with surviving as in hardcore. Now in hardcore, I've heard, I don't play hardcore, 98 probably percent of people play soft core, but in hardcore, I, I hear that this is used a little bit more often and it's for these particular reasons. I'm gonna go ahead and show you something real quick. I'm gonna pull up one set so I'm in human form and pull up this menu. See right here, I have 1400 defense. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run around and watch right here, it'll turn into some little lines. That's because when you're running, your defense actually gets taken down to zero. There's this whole calculation that's not all super important, but pretty much what happens is it throws that calculation out the window and you just get no defense to help you out. But when you are walking or when you're standing still, you see when, you're, when I'm walking around now, the defense stays there to kind of help you out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw on this to get the full Trang set piece. Now, we're going to go ahead and put it in run mode. It's just a little spot right here. You see me switching it. It's kind of hard to see, but just notice the color right now. I'm in run mode. Look how fast I'm going. I'm going to push the R button to switch to walking, and I don't go any slower. That's because, well, I guess I'm not actually running or walking. I'm kind of floating around here. Now, it's also important to note, look at me right here. As I am right here in run mode, the defense goes away because I'm technically in run mode, but go to walk mode. I get all my defense back, but I'm moving at the exact same speed. Now that's important to note here for the necromancer it provides with more safety you know what i mean so 
that is one way that it can provide you more safety. Let's go ahead and go out to a waypoint here, and I'll show you one other thing for this particular Necromancer. If you go to any of these skills, it is a longer skill animation, but watch how long the animation is and watch when the fireball I'm shooting actually comes out. I'm gonna go ahead and use these fire skills. It shoots out and then he continues with the animation. Actually, the spells that you cast, such as this, such as Poison Nova, they come out earlier in the animation. So you don't necessarily have to worry about trying to cast in something and then getting hit and it's stopping the animation. It actually comes out and then you kind of continue through the animation. So it's just a little bit different than how the other characters and the other stuff really works, especially when you're using this like in the human form. So I'll go ahead and come out here and show you. See how he actually goes through the whole thing here to shoot out the fireball and then it comes out at the front. That's just a little bit of different animation there. And it could just be that because that animation is twice as long, it actually comes out at the same speed. I haven't done an incredible testing on it yet, but it's just something there that is to note. Now, if you like that video and you learned something, check out this video right up over here. I know you're going to like this one too. It is right up your alley. Peace out, fellas, and don't forget, keep slaying. <sighs>